And as I was going to sleep, you know what I'd always hear as I was drifting off to sleep? What's that? I would hear the the opening theme to the show Dallas, a very, very famous soap opera from the 1980s. And one of the most famous, there were a couple of famous, I don't know anything about the show really, but I know there were two very famous things about Dallas. One is J.R. Ewing got shot. That was pretty famous. And the other one, the other one was at the end of one season, one of the characters, I don't even know who it was, she uh, she like went in or whatever, and uh, the shower opened and out steps. Is it what, what's the guy's name? Patrick Duffy. He Patrick Bobby. Patrick on the show. Duffy. Yes. Bobby Ewing. Okay. Yes. And he steps out of the shower. And that was a cliffhanger because he was dead. And Zerman was like, "What? He's dead. How's Bobby Ewing getting out of this shower?" Well, what happened was the next season they explained. That the entire season that you had watched previously that ended with Patrick whatever getting out of the shower, whatever his name was, Bobby Ewing. Patrick Duffy, you don't remember him from Step anyway, by Step but the with point is, The point is, Mike, Nicole, oh he man. got out of the shower and they told you that the entire season that you had just watched had been a dream. A dream, yes. Yeah. You ever heard of the term jump the shark? Okay. Well, man, I was at WrestleMania. It was like the end of night one. And, dude, this show was so awesome. And granted, I was there live. I was like five rows back from the ring at the time of my life. It was so awesome. Then I went to night two. And for like three hours, it was so awesome. And then we had the main event with Cody and Roman Reigns. And in just the most nothing happened and finish, Solo Zakoa thumbs Cody in the neck. Roman Reigns spears him. Cody's pinned middle of the ring. And, dude, the second they rang that bell, like, people were getting out of that place. You never seen people get out of that building so fast. And the night before, they hadn't. When Sammy and Kevin won, man, show's over. They stayed for, like, I don't even know how long. They were singing and dancing and having the time of their lives. Man, Cody got pinned. They were out of there. They're like, we're done. We're out of here. And they left. And and I'm just standing in line. And I just I just thought, you know what, man? He just he just stepped out of the shower, dude. He just stepped out of the shower. And uh that's what happened. I left that building and I thought, you know what? This was like a, a short lived glorious period in wwe that is now over and then sure enough i went home and i watched that raw show and it was like the last eight months it was nothing but a dream we were right back to where we were where every tuesday i would come on the show to do the raw report and i would talk about all of this stupid stuff that happened and all these segments that didn't make any sense and, you know, the guy running out and giving three new run sheets in 45 minutes at the beginning of the show. And it was just like, we're back, dude. We're right back where we were. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey... Made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not my jokes work. <laughs> we barely. What does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we barely. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a dude doodle. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> right. Because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. Yeah, I don't get it. What? See, what? These, these, what? these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.